may know if you've just come to my channel, I'm really a fifth and a sixth grade teacher. I have taught fourth grade, but like a long time ago, like back in the amazing age, you know, during the mammoth and we made the saber tooth tiger. Yeah. Okay, it was a while ago, and so I'm actually just making these videos because there's some requests went in. Anyhow, let's get started. We're doing lesson 4.8. If you've been following this chapter at all, we just finished doing some division using repeated subtraction. So the focus on this chapter is clearly division. And now we're going to be looking at a topic, dividing using partial quotients. Our essential question, our focus and what the objective is that we are to learn in this lesson is how can you use partial quotients to divide by one digit divisor. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting. But yeah, I mean, huh? Just a second. Yeah. Uh huh. I know, but I'm on the air. Yeah, I know. Do you need to talk to me right now? Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, my crew was telling me that we can't go any further in this lesson. That's right. We have to stop right here. Unless, that's right, my friends. Unless we unlock the problem. That's right, my friends, because it's real world, baby. Real world. Real world. Okay. At camp. It says there are five players on each lacrosse team. Okay. If there are 125 people on lacrosse teams, how many teams are there? Ooh, what a great question. I don't know. Can I call a friend? Do I have a lifeline? Just kidding. Those familiar with who wants to become a millionaire, right? Uh, so let's go over here to our favorite little blue box. Hello, blue box. It says underline what you are asked to find. Okay, that seems simple enough. Underline what you are asked to find. Okay. And that, of course, would be like how many teams are there? It's this right here. We're underlining this right here. Okay. Super easy. Okay. Then it says circle what you need to use. Of course, we're going to be using that there's five players, right? On each lacrosse team. So we're going to be definitely using this information here. I'm going to circle that with that because that kind of went with this here, if you know what I mean. We're also going to be using this. That there's 125 people on lacrosse team. That's like just a total amount. You can see. Woo! And as like a little review, I want to again label this. That 125 lets me know we're talking about this is the dividend. This is the number that we're dividing. Okay. And the fact that there's five players on each lacrosse team lets us know that we know the size of the groups. We don't know how many groups. So this is called measurement division. But that is still called the divisor though. Cool. All right. Oh, but I didn't come over here. What operation can you use to find the number of teams? I don't know, maybe something called division, my friends? Yes, division. That's the operation. There's only four of them. Division is one of them. Now we have one way, okay, use partial quotients. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. There's a lesson similar to this, actually in fifth grade as well. By the way, if you like my fourth grade math videos, keep in mind there's a whole slew of fifth grade ones up there. I'm still trying to get fourth grade lessons up, but just so you know, there is a similar lesson. And I like this. I think this is a really cool way to help understand dividing. Now it says in the partial quotient, and notice it's highlighted. So in the partial quotient, method of dividing. And remember, method is just a way of doing something, okay? So if we're going to use this way by using something called partial quotients, by the way, we should probably define some of these words. You know, I keep forgetting that partial is like, I'm just going to say it's just not complete, okay? So if you have something that's partial, it's because it's not complete. So kind of think that if it's impartial, I guess would be that, well, let's not use that one, but it would, that would be something complete. But here, partial means that it's like it's not complete. The quotient is the answer. Ooh, that's spelled kind of sloppily. Ah, no. Yes, I had to do it. I'm sorry. I have this certain, certain level of neatness. There we go. I'm leaving you there. Stay there, scribbled there, little scribbly thingy. Now, so now we have the partial quotient method of dividing. That's what we're going to be doing. It says multiples of the divisor are subtracted from the dividend and then the partial quotients are added together. Okay, this whole part here, I know. If you really get this, then you are the total math wizard. Okay, and maybe you should be teaching this lesson. But if this seems a little bit confusing, that should be normal because they're using a lot of terminology here. Multiples, I hope that you remember. Again, those were like when we were skip counting and multiples is just a number that when you multiply it by a whole number, it, it'll give you that number. So two, four, six, eight. Remember, two times two is four, two times three is six, two times four is eight. We call these numbers multiples of two, okay? So that's what that is. So it's like we're gonna be taking multiples of five and we're gonna be subtracting those from the dividend. Remember, 125, we already stated was the dividend until we get these partial uh, quotients are gonna get all added together over here on this side. All right, 
I don't want to go too fast. I want to make sure that you're getting this, but at the same time, I'm not trying to make this video like 50 minutes, right? That would be crazy. That would be. Okay. So this is step one. Well, actually it says divide. So this is what we're going to divide. So divide, it says 125 divided by five. And then write this here, which we have on our right-hand side, okay? Now step one says, start by subtracting a greater multiple, such as 10 times the divisor. Does that make sense? Our divisor is five. Yeah, five, if we were doing groups of five, it would be, it might take us a long time. So rather than subtracting five, we could do that. We could do it 10 times what the divisor is. And since the divisor is five, 10 times that just means five times 10. So it's like we're gonna take 10 groups of five that we're gonna subtract from the dividend, okay? So, and that's gonna be 50. So let's go ahead and do that. It says, for example, you know that you can make at least 10 teams of five players because 10 times five is 50. So we know we can at least make 10 teams because how many players on each team? Five, that's what that divisor is telling us. So let's go ahead and say 10 times then five. Now 10 times five though is 50. So we'll put the 50 in here because that's how much is being subtracted. Why is there a 10 over there? Because we had 10 multiples of that or 10 times we subtracted five from here and that's why you have the 50. So we get left with five or subtracting. We're gonna need to regroup, okay? So now we have 75. Now by looking at the 75, you can say, hey, I could have done another 10. And truth is, I could have done 20 had I wanted to. I could have started off with 20 times five. That would have given me 100 and that's possible too. 10 is a nice easy number because when you multiply 10 by any number, you're just making it 10 times greater. So a lot of times it's just, hey, I'm gonna add a zero on the end. 5 times 10, 50. I'm just adding a 0. 1 power of 10. So that's why I love 10. 10 a cool number. All right? So we're going to do it again. Same thing since I know that I can take another 50 away. That's why I'm putting a 5 here. And again, when we subtract, though, now look what happened. Now we have 25. All right? We don't have 50 anymore, but we still have a remainder there. So it says here, I got to remember to come back to what it says here. Continue subtracting until the remaining number is less than the multiple of 50. And a less than the multiple which was 50 and we are going to kind of keep subtracting we need to kind of keep doing that which we actually already have at this point now if you look step two what does step two say step two says subtract smaller multiples okay such as five two or one times the divisor what does that mean again when we're using the word times we're meaning how many times again i could subtract five from 25, I could do it one time. Then I could do it two times, which means I'd be another the five. I could do it three times. So that's what they mean by this, that you can do it five times, two times. By looking at it, I can see that five times five is 25. So since you've noticed that, we can say that it's gonna be five times that divisor. And that means I'm taking a group of five, another group of five, another five times, which will give me 25 and leave me with no remainder and as you can see over here what they did is they put the five times there we couldn't put a 10 here because we didn't take out 10 groups of five from that number we only took out five groups i hope that was helpful and now you can see we're just adding up how many times 10 25 25 that's our quotient we did partial quotients because we did one quotient here another quotient there and okay and eventually we came up with the full amount. So now we come over here and it does say, uh, oh, it does say do, do this until the divisor, until the remaining number is less than the divisor and zero is less than the divisor, which is five. In other words, keep going until you no longer have enough players to make a team. And we needed to have five, it worked out okay. Then add the partial quotients, which is what we were doing over there to find the quotient. So there are 25 lacrosse teams. And I can prove that by saying because 25 teams, and if there's five people, five players on each team, now I'm multiplying with my 25, I carry my two, which will be added. Two plus five is 10, plus two more is 12. Look at, it got all the way back to my dividend. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just love making long arrows and all the little swivels that these little arrows can make. I hope that made some sense for you. It's a confusing kind of idea and it may be the first time that you're having this lesson. So it's just really important to understand that what we're doing here is not the standard algorithm of division. Okay, that's something different. And we're going to learn how to do that algorithm but right now what we're just kind of learning is the concept understanding why are we doing this because we're taking these groups and we're trying to take that away from the dividend and that's what so just 
keep that in mind as we're doing these lessons. Okay, now it says another way. So that's not the only way. That was one way, doing the partial quotients by subtracting. But here it says, use rectangular models to record the partial quotients. Okay, this should be kind of interesting. It says that Jared and Anna also found the number of teams using partial quotients. They recorded the partial quotients using rectangular models. They each still had 25 as the quotient. So let's take a look at Jared. Jared, he has the 125. He has his divisor. Here's a five. So look at that. The dividend went in the center. The divisor went to the outside. So what did he do? He took 125 and he said, okay, I'm going to break 125 into two pieces, 175 and 50, because he knows that 50 and 75 equals 125. Why was that important? Well, now he can figure out, like when we were doing the area model for multiplication, five times 10 is 50. So that means that, oh, that quotient is up here. So that's like our 10. So 10, I mean, that is our 10. So 5 times 10 is 50. So we could subtract 50 here and get 75. That's how Jerry did that. So now that he's done that, he's going to split the 75 here up into two smaller rectangles. This does seem similar like the lesson that we just did a lesson, or maybe two lessons ago. You may recall using a grid very similar. So now again, we have another 10, which is another 50. Uh-oh, it's moving, no! Okay, so that's another 50, giving me 25. And then you can see the very last one, which was five. And that's 25, giving us zero. So 10 plus 10 plus five, 25. Now this is what Anna did. Anna took it and she put her 125 in the center, just like Jared did. There's her divisor. She broke it up differently. She broke it up this first time, Look at the comparison here. She said, I'm going to take the number 125 and I'm going to break it up into two add-ins and I'm going to have one be 100 and the other one 25. And she could choose these two numbers because both these numbers are multiples of five, meaning that five could be multiplied by a number to get one of these numbers. And we covered that in a previous lesson. Five times 20, 100. So she could take 100 away right from the beginning. Look at that. And she's already down to 25. Well, she's got her 25 right here. Well, five times five is 25. So we're going to go ahead and subtract that. Here we have our two partial quotients here. So now we're going to add those two together. 20 plus five, 25. <laughs> Tell me that is not awesome. Oh my goodness. This is what math is all about. Math just helps me make sense of the world. Well, maybe that's a little dramatic, but you get the idea. Another part, we have Sharon Show. Oh, that's right, my guys. Hey, it's math board time. Math boards, get your math boards, get your math boards out. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, lacrosse is played on a field 330 feet long. I did not know that. How many yards long is a lacrosse field? It's letting us know that three feet is equal to one yard. Okay, so we're really saying, hey, we have all these feet, hmm, and three of them is equal to one yard. So we're wanting to divide because we're going from this larger unit to a small, I'm sorry, a smaller unit to a larger unit, which means we're going to have to divide. That does say divide, use partial quotients. Okay, so here they're kind of guiding us along here. They're helping us out. They're saying, hey, you should try it 100 times the first time. So 100 times, and then that's always going to be the divisor because the divisor is what we're subtracting, okay, from our dividend. So 100 times three happens to be 300. So that's going to be a very large multiple. Look how quickly it's gonna bring our number all the way down to 30 so quickly. And then look, we have it again. Three, yeah, that works because 30 is a multiple of three because you can count by threes and it will go into 30. So now we have 10 though, because it's three times 10 is gonna give us 30, which is right here. So we're gonna put our 30, and then of course we end up with no remainder. And it's definitely less than our divisor, which is good. So now we have our 10 times three, which is 30, got put in there. But that was 10 times that we subtracted three. This was 100 times that we subtracted three here. So that means if 100 times and 10 times were added together, we would get 110 times. So the lacrosse field is 110 yards long. Huh, very interesting. You know, I did not even know that. And so United States with our football, that happened to be 100 yards. Look how close that is. I had no idea that a lacrosse field was that close to like a regular NFL uh, field. Very cool. Now, is there anything else here? What? No. Oh, is that music I hear? No. I mean, there's no more? There's not another page. That felt like we only did like one page. Really? <laughs> it's blank. 
my, oh my goodness. Okay, alright, I'm gonna keep it together, my friends. I just can't believe how quickly that video.